Hey, it's Pastor Mike. Before we get started with today's episode, I want to encourage you to check out our other Time of Grace podcasts, like the podcast Little Things with Amber L.B. Swenson. If you don't know Amber, she is smart, she's witty, she's insightful, she's honest, she's blunt, she's comforting, she's amazing. You're going to love her. So just search for Little Things wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. And now on to today's episode. This week, we're talking about burnout at work and what makes an employee who is not burned out. Number one is your identity is in Christ and not in your work. You're finding your value in Jesus as you're being filled up so that you can pour into other people. Number two is that you have enough margin in your life that you are able to pour into other people. So recently, my daughter and I took a trip to Disney World, just the two of us, and we went and One thing you have to know about Disney is the estimated ride times are a complete lie. So you get in line and it says 55 minutes and you get there in 20 and you think, I have just gamed the system. This is amazing. There's only one time it was even close when they announced over the loudspeaker that the ride was running at like half capacity and a lot of times standing in a singular spot, but we still actually got on the ride under the estimated wait time. So why is this? Disney is not stupid. They are putting margin in their estimated wait times so that you're not frustrated if something comes up. Do you do that with your life? Do you do that with work? Do you ever let your phone battery go almost all the way to the end before charging it? Do you ever go on a trip and you have maybe just enough gasoline and you think, I'm fine, but then suddenly there's a detour, you run into traffic and you slow down, you get more and more anxious? How do you plan your time to church? Is it based on the fastest time ever that you have gotten there and then somehow, I don't know how, you're late? The same thing happens at work. Do you push deadlines thinking everything is going to run smoothly and you're not going to have any problems? Well, here's the truth. We live in a sinful world with sinful people. You're going to have problems. The question is, do you have enough margin in your life to handle those problems? The way that God handles us is not with just enough. There's a psalm that I'm sure you know, Psalm 23, as you listen to it. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. But we're going to jump to verse 5 and listen how God talks to you. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Your cup isn't just full. The opposite of full is empty. Your cup is overflowing. And what do we mean by that? God's blessings to you never end. Jesus has adopted you as his children. Jesus has accepted you. Jesus has forgiven you. And Jesus gives you enough smarts to leave margin in your life so that you can function as the best employee that you can be. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, fill up our cups. Let our cups overflow with your grace and with your courage and the Holy Spirit so that we can take on the day and the challenges that we face. We make all kinds of bad decisions and sometimes we squeeze things a little bit tight. In those moments, help us take a moment to know that you have filled up our cups so that we have enough in us to be able to pour into the people in our lives. We ask this in your name. Amen.